It was a momentous day for the Yakovlev SJ-100, more commonly known as the Sukhoi Superjet, when on 17th March 2025, we had the first ever flight of this aircraft with entirely Russian-made PD-8 engines. This flight lasted approximately 40 minutes, reaching a maximum height of 9,800 feet and a maximum speed of 270 knots. The primary objective of this test flight were to assess the performance of the PD-8 engine during various flight phases including takeoff, climb, cruising and landing. Additionally, the flight aimed to evaluate the integration of the new engines with the aircraft's existing systems. Preliminary reports indicate that the engines performed as expected, meeting all test parameters. Since the imposition of sanctions following the start of the Ukraine conflict, Russia has been desperate to modernize and develop its aviation sector with speed but at the same time to deliver safety. The objective? All its aircraft should have Russian-only components, thus replacing all Western parts. But aircraft and engines take years to develop, test and certify before they can carry passengers. The SJ-100 currently operates with the Powerjet Sam-14 engine, they are Russian and French made. Having seen the direction Western sanctions were taking following Russia's takeover of Crimea in 2014, in 2019 the Russians started development of the PD-8. By mid-2022, a PD-8 prototype had successfully completed ground testing and conducted its first flight test installed on an Ilyushin 76 aircraft. Achieving this in three years was amazing, but results showed that further work was needed. In February 2025, Rostec's first Deputy Director General, Vladim Atyakov, announced that PD-8 engines had been delivered to the production site in Kramatorsk, with flight testing of the new engines to begin as soon as possible. As soon as possible turned out to be a month later on the 17th of March. The PD-8-powered Superjet 100 completed its maiden flight, marking a significant milestone in the engine's development. Normal development of an engine takes between 2 to 4 years from concept and design, then there's the prototype development and testing which takes a further 3 to 6 years. Then there's the flight testing and certification which takes a further 2 to 5 years. Finally, the entry into service and refinement between 1 to 3 years. For example, the CFM LEAP engine used in the Airbus A320neo and the 77 MAX took about 10 years. The Rolls-Royce Trent engine for the Boeing 787 Dreamliner took 12 years. For the PD-8, it has achieved this test flight in an incredible 6 years. Without doubt, the pd 8 development is record-breaking. But this is only because of the essential fact that Russian aviation is in a hurry to achieve self-reliance. They had self-reliance during the Soviet days and have been burned by sanctions in this interconnected world. They have therefore concluded that when it comes to aircraft manufacture, they have to be completely self-reliant. However, there is still a long way to go before this engine enters into service. But it is important to recognize this milestone. Вентилятор не считает, да, он же не падает, все, это не всегда цукан. 